Si je suis agressé, eh bien, je fais so when I feel attacked, uh, I make the organ disappear. Si je suis séparé, au contraire, eh bien, cela but aussi. if I feel separated, on the contrary, I get bigger. Eh bien, après, je vais dans la maison. Il y aura la if I lack of food, then I will store food everywhere in the house. Mais si c'est la guerre et que je, je suis Now, agressé, if it's war and I feel attacked, eh bien, then I hide. Okay. Donc, ce qui va That's se what's going to happen in the body. Est-ce que la maladie, c'est une maladie de plus Is it a disease of plus or minus? It depends on if I was attacked or separated. Et donc, c'est ce qui va permettre de retrouver l'événement. That's what will allow us to find the dramatic event and therefore to resolve it. Alors, de... Stop, stop, stop. Donc, comment est-ce que... So, how does the biodecoding therapy work? Donc, premièrement, il y a cet événement. First, we have this event. Et je vais donner un sens à cet événement. And I'm going to give a meaning to this event. Donc, on a volé ma voiture. Someone stole my car. Et donc, pour moi, ma voiture, c'est toute ma vie. C'est là où je dors. And for me, my car is my entire life. This is where I sleep. Donc, voler ma voiture, c'est comme voler une partie de ma vie. So, stealing my car is like stealing a part of my life. Donc, à ce moment-là, arrive une émotion négative. So at this moment appears a negative emotion. And this emotion has to get out. What is the negative? What is misfortune? What is tragedy? Well, it's happiness that has stopped on the road. It's happiness that got frozen. Because the etymology of the word emotion is movement. So what is disease? It's the movement has stopped. What is therapy? It's to bring back movement, to bring that back outside. Mais si, si je But pas, si if je I don't express it, if I'm not welcome in my expression, si then it will go in the body, as I've been saying for an hour and a half now. What is therapy? The first form of therapy is to become aware of the origin of the disease through emotion, a link between the emotion, the disease, and the origin. And this emotional awareness liberates, but sometimes it's not enough. Then we go at a deeper level of the therapy, which is to express, to empty out all the cellular emotions, because they are social emotions. When a man is afraid, what does he say? I'm angry. Because a man is not afraid. He is courageous. Therefore, he yells, but he is afraid. So the biological emotion is fear, but he expresses anger. So it's useless. It's a defense mechanism. So he doesn't heal. So, in this example, we have to find the feeling of fear. And as soon as it's put outside, it's not inside anymore. And at this moment, the body is free and healing occurs. If this is not enough, then we'll bring resources. What was missing? What was lacking? So we'll use other kind of protocols to bring new learnings. 
And so at this moment, we have a change. With this type of resources, there is no more problem. If this is not enough, then we change the belief. Therefore, the perception of the external world someone is laid off or the car is stolen. So I can give the meaning that the world is bad because my car got stolen. So at this moment I'm angry or I'm afraid. Or I can also give the meaning that I'm happy to have my car stolen because I wanted to change my car, but my wife didn't want to do it. So, therefore, I'm going to bless the thief. So, I just changed the meaning of the event, but I haven't changed the event. And at this moment, I feel good. I'm laid off. And the meaning that I give to it is an opportunity to do really what is right for me. I don't say it's true. I don't say it's false, but... But anyway, it's going to be something positive that is going to be dynamic in a way that I feel good. So the fourth level of the therapy is the change of belief. And the fifth level of the therapy is to change the past. Why and how? How do we do to change our childhood? Because you should learn that it's never too late to have a happy childhood. It's uh, my teacher of therapy who told me that. It's my professor de thérapie qui me disait ça. It's never too late to have a happy childhood. How do we do that? We make a great confusion. We confuse the past and the memory. The past doesn't exist. <laughs> well, open your eyes. Where is it? Where is the past? Can, can someone bring me a piece of the past? Can someone show me the past? No one. You only show me the memory of it. You show me the present. So what is memory? It's a construct of the present. That we keep transforming at every moment. Therefore, we are free to transform this construct. Because what is the past? What is it that really happened? Are you sure that it did happen that way? Are you sure you have all the information? We react to the virtual. We react to a construct, and this reaction is in the present. It's the disease of the present. Do you feel like continuing this? To suffer? To be limited? to be with all those emotions because the emotions are reactions and the beliefs are the process that maintains the past. 
It's a rigidity of the mantle. So there are other protocols that will allow us to change the past. As Bert Hellinger, who proposes with the family constellation, or hypnosis with regressions, or NLP with the rain printing, Donc, lorsque, euh, lorsque la source when change, the source of it changes, changes so également. all that comes afterwards will change as well. And I invite you to close your eyes. Et Vous imaginez qu'en face de vous, il y a un petit garçon, une petite And you imagine that in front of you, there is a little boy or a little girl. And it's you. It's you when you were eight years old or three years old or even in the womb of your mother. And I invite you to uncross your arms and your legs and your feet. And I invite you to look at yourself. And look at what this little girl that you were needed. What is it that the little boy that you were needed? What is it that no one has listened, has heard, has understood? Welcome this.